Okay, so this is the start of uh, Let's uh, live stream session number four for my Let's live stream number one Pokemon Fire Red series. And uh, I actually am actually controlling the, um, my character now on the Visual Boy Advance for the emulator using GameCube controller, which is really nice actually. I really like it. That way I don't have to scrouch in front of, um, and stretch over my microphone over to the keyboard and control it that way with the keyboard. So uh, I, I'm using my. Um, uh, Mayflash uh, GameCube adapter for Wii U and PC. You can get one off Amazon. I'll put the link in um, below for my Twitch, um, my Twitch information, I guess, and then I'll put a link in the description of this video. So, if you're interested in that, and then also I'm just using a regular GameCube controller connected to that. And this is how I'm controlling it. So, uh, last time we saw, we're almost at Vermilion City, by the way. So let me show you off my team real quick. Here is my team, um, uh, Paris is level 15, Thunder is level 16, Chelsea is level 16, Fumi is level 16, Blaster is level 19, and then I have Sally who is my HM slave, which will, um, we'll probably teach Sally cut or something, but I think that Paris might want to learn cut for an HM move, because it's actually a really decent move for like a normal type, it's a decent normal type attack move, and it can cut down the trees. And I know Paris can learn cut and flash, but I'm not going to teach you flash, because you know, Paris is like my um my grass type for the um, series, you know, and I don't really want to take all, t use one of its have one of its moves being flash. Nothing too personal, but that's just I guess my preference. I just rather use like an H jump slave. Anyway, there aren't many bugs out here. Yeah, it's not the rain voice, man. Sorry. I'm gonna move my mouse out of the way. You can't even see my mouse, but it's in the middle of my uh, window for my for the Visual Boy Advance window, I guess. So yeah, let's just just have some fun, some fun in the sun. I'm just kidding. Um, can't use poison powder because it doesn't affect Weedle. Um, I might go for the. St I'm gonna go for the stun spore. Try to get pale ice, you know. Yeah. So as I said, this is um live stream session number four for the series. Um, I hope to get well past Roman City if I can. Uh, that includes doing this as Anne. So, we'll see how far I go. Okay, and then let's. I think Stun Spawn missed, so I'm gonna try it again. Guido's gonna use String Shot again, while well, Paris is uh, uh, Speed Stat, another stage. Like two stages total now since he used it twice. There it goes. The Paralysis has hit that time, which is awesome. Very cool stuff. And let's go for the Scratch then. Okay, I think four Scratches should faint this um, Weedle, but then that Poison Sting's gonna hurt because it's super effective on Paris. So, you know, yeah, it feels so great using a game controller instead of just having it as a keyboard this time. That way I'm nowhere near my touchpad and I don't freeze the window. That's also a good, that's also another reason why I'm so happy that I can use a game controller on the Visual Boy Advance. So, yeah. One more scratch should do it if this one hits. Yeah, there we go. One more scratch after this. Oh, cool. Didn't need another scratch. That's awesome. So there goes the Weedle. Okay, next comes out a cocoon, I believe. I was gonna guess a cocoon but another Weedle. Okay, to speed this up, I'm just gonna go to Fear Me. Because Fear Me has Peck and all that. And Peck is a flying type move and it's super effective on a Weedle because it's a book type Pokemon. You know, nothing, nothing too, nothing too difficult to deal with. We've, deal we've dealt with a lot of bug catcher trainers at this point of the game anyway. So it's gonna warm. Give me speed stat one stage, okay. Uh, one more I'm just gonna use another pack. This should faint the Weedle then. Should faint the Weedle. It's next turn. Okay, there we go. Send so, me should grow to level 17. There we go. Awesome. And one more Pokemon. I think it's a good enough for the guess. Okay, never mind. It's Caterpie. So, the, see, I'm bad at guessing sometimes with these upcoming Pokemon, you know? Yeah, one more pack should do it, and then we should be done with this battle. So that's good. There we go. Ah, nice. Ah, uh, no, you're kidding. <laughs> okay. Sure, I'm kidding. I'm not kidding at all. I'm very serious. So, I think this person right here is a camper, and he'll have a Squirtle, so let's talk to him. Who's there? Quit listening in on us. Well, I just want to battle. I'm sorry. I want to battle. I want to battle you, camper. Ricky. <laughs> he had the squirtle, I was right. Well, 
level 20. Ooh, this one's, this one's level 20. Um, I'm gonna go for the poison powder over the stun sword because poison powder could, does a little bit of damage after every turn because it's poison then. Another being paralyzed and cutting half, only having half its speed. I mean, I'd rather go for the poison, in my opinion, in this scenario. So I'm gonna go for the scratch. No, I didn't mean to use stun sword. See, I, I misclicked on my game controller. Oh, wait, I flinched anyway, so it doesn't matter. Um, yeah, I'm gonna switch out just so uh, Paris doesn't like get knocked out. That'd be good. That'd be real good. So here's a okay. So with you, so, okay, you're gonna raise your defense one stage. Squirtle, okay, with that withdrawal. Okay, I'm gonna go for the thunder shock. It's gonna be super effective. Let's see how much this does. Let's see how much this does. And it does okay? I think one more thunder shock should do it because the poison's gonna weaken it down even a little bit more. Possibly into the red zone, so we'll see. Let's see. We'll go into the red zone. If it's still in the yellow zone, but wait, yellow zone. I'm talking about HP bar wise, the color of it. There we go. We use one more thunder shock, and the squirrel does go down, so that's nice. And press good level 16, nice. And thunder good level 17, yay. Everyone's getting up in the levels today, so that's good. Just can't win, I'm sorry, but thanks for the 400 poker dollars. Can't for Ricky. Uh, let me see. I'm gonna switch my Pokemon. Let's, I'll switch to Chelsea. And then switch these two Pokemon right here. Oh, there we go. And yeah. Excuse me, this is a perfect conversation. Uh, I'm not, pro not. I'm being kind of rude right now. I'm sorry. Camper, or Picnic, or Nancy. Okay, here's, she's a Rattata as well, level 16. Female as well. I'm gonna go for the Hyper Fang. The hit, awesome. There we go for one more Hyper Fang. Okay, she's good for the Hyper Fang as well. One more Hyper Fang, and there we go. Okay. Another P a Pikachu. Okay, I'm gonna go for the Hyper Fang, but then I might get paralyzed. But I'm paralyzed anyway. But Chelsea is paralyzed anyway right now because Thunder Wave. For the Hyper Fang. Let's see how much this does. Ooh, yeah, I want to get on ice. Like that. Almost to level 17 for Chelsea. Uh, I'm, I didn't mean that, you dog. I'm sorry. Thanks for 320 pocket hours. I really appreciate it. Um, let's see, if, I think this guy has a Butterfree or a Beach. I think he's has a Butterfree actually. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch to Thunder because this Butterfree will be half flying type, so flying is weak against Ultra type moves, so that one makes sense. I've never seen you around. I've never seen you around. Uh, are you good? <laughs> I'm good. I got two gym badges so far. I'm obviously uh, pretty good at least. I'm decent. Get your Elijah. Okay. So we're gonna go for the Thunder Shock. See how much that does. And there we go. Okay, now I did a fourth and then Sweet Part is gonna hit. Okay. I see how it is. I think I have some awakenings. Let me see. Do, how many awakenings do I have? I have, I have five. I'll use one right now. It's worth it. It's worth it. I'm gonna say it's worth it right now. Uh, but now the supersonic infused thunder. Oh boy. I didn't mean to go back to my Pokemon list or whatever. I didn't mean to just click there. Um, I'm going to just thunder wave it. Hopefully I'll hit. Hopefully I'll be, won't be, thunder won't be confused. There we go, we cut its speed in half basically now. We did the exact thing. The thing that I was saying was cut its speed in half. Paralyzed so it can't move. We go for the thunder shock and thunder snapped out confusion, that's awesome. Should do about it should heal in the yellows, yeah there we go, yellow range. That's good, that's good. So yeah. We'll have to, we'll have, to have a good start, I guess. Thunder shock again. And one more thunder shock should do it. Question is if I get. I hope I can, I can knock it out next turn. Let's see if this knocks it out though. Um, it knocks it out. Yes. There we go. Okay. Awesome. Defeated by catcher wire. So you're too good. Thanks. Thanks for the 240 poker dollars too. I really appreciate it. Okay. I almost thought I went to the grass there for a second. That time I went to the grass. Um. Let's see who's up front. I think. Thunder's powers, yeah. I'm gonna go to Fumi up to the Fumi up to the front. So there we go. 
me? Well, okay, I'll play. Okay, I wanted you to battle, but I guess in this game, one battle, so playing, I guess that makes sense. There we go. And. Move my mouse cursor again, it's in the way. My screen. Not anymore. Okay, so I'm gonna go for the Fury attack. The Fury hopefully hits five times, right? Fury, right? You're gonna hit five times? The B. Okay, three times is okay too. We're just gonna use the gust attack, okay. Let's use another fury, fury attack. Here we go. That should, did that knock out Pidgey? Nope, it didn't. Pidgey's just staying, what, staying, uh, con, uh, Pidgey's just hanging on by a hair, I should say. Let's use a peck attack then. And the Pidgey goes down. Okay, that's cool. Um, this one is another Pidgey. Okay, so I'll use another Fury attack. Three times, awesome. We go for a Fury attack, another Fury attack after this. So much time, it sets twice. It'll critical it. Three times, yay, this should paint the Pidgey. There we go, it did, nice. Okay. Who's my favorite Pokemon in Fire Red Toss Leaf Green? Uh, Athletic um, Ninja says, um, my favorite Pokemon in Fire Red and Leaf Green. Um, ooh, I'm thinking either Bulbasaur or Venusaur. Or, no, the whole Bulbasaur family actually. I like Bulbasaur, Ivasaur, and Venusaur. I like, my favorite Pokemon type is, gra uh, is grass, the grass type, so, and I really love the Bulbasaur family. So like either either one of those three, Bulbasaur, Ivysaur, or Venusaur, because I just really like them and they're really fun to use in playthroughs. The whole Bulbasaur family when I first raised a Bulbasaur and turned into Venusaur by the end of the game or something, that's always fun. So like the whole Bulbasaur family with, oh gosh dang it, Fear Me Fainted. Okay, yeah, but yeah, those three, the Bulbasaur family would probably be my answer to like Ninja. Thanks for asking. I'm gonna go shout out Blaster. Is level 19, I think. Yeah, 19. Uh, let's go for the. Actually, I want to switch up my moves here. Um, kick. And then switch the fight. Go. I'm gonna go for water pulse. Pretty much just does. Should do a good amount. There we go. Nice. It fainted the Pidgey. Okay. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. We defeated Picnicker Isabel. And yeah, there we go. And then one more trainer before you meet Dreamland in City. Oh, you want to talk to me? Well, I want to battle you, but, um, okay, I'll talk to you too. Oh, thanks, Athletic Ninja, um, for following the Grotto Squad. Thank you. And here, okay, you have a Sparrow. Oh, why'd I put, pa why'd I have Paris still in front? I forgot to switch it up. Hey, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna have to switch out. Just take a hit or a Pokemon move. Hopefully this Sparrow can let you know, use the Weir on me by any chance, or Growl, that works too. That way it doesn't attack Blaster when he's coming in. And let's go for the Water Pulse then. Good thing Water Pulse is special, I believe, in this game. Instead of physical, because you will my attack. My physical attack, not my special attack. And let's go for the, um, let's finish off with a Bite. There we go. There we go, the Sparrow fainted. Yeah. Okay. Go for the Kate. Let's eradicate. Um, let's go for the. Let's go for the water pulse. Oh, Athletic Ninja says, "What's the most annoying place in Pokemon Fire Red slash Leaf Green?" It's probably Mount Moon, right? Um, Mount Moon's pretty annoying, but in my opinion, the most annoying place is probably going to be Rock Tunnel, in my opinion, because you have to have Flash if you want to actually see the whole place, and then there's a lot of like Onyxes and Geodudes and Zubats, so I think Rock Tunnel will probably be my most annoying place. I think that's, yeah, that's pretty accurate, yeah, Rock Tunnel would probably be my, my, my pick for that, because, again, you need Flash, and if you don't have Flash, it's, you have to kind of hug the walls just to make sure you won't get lost or you go in the right way. Hugging in the walls and... Well, um, Mount Mary and Rock Tunnel was actually really helpful because you do need Flash if you want to see everything, but you can get through it without Flash. I mean, 
Even the original games, it was what made it a lot easier because you could see like the whole. If you had like a Game Boy Advance SP in the, back in the day, <laughs> back in those days, and you had Rock Tunnel for the original games, it's a lot easier. But for, like Fire and the Green, they give you this little circle of like, light and stuff, and you can still hug the walls, and that works fine. But you want to also like, explore the whole thing and try to get like all the items that you may have you may have missed the first time you've gone through without Flash or whatever. That's just my opinion back time will probably be my choice then for that question. Thanks for asking, Athletic Ninja. Let's finish off with a bite. Let's eradicate. Snapped out confusion because it was co it was confused by the Water Pulse. Because Water Pulse is a chance of confusing your opponent and you use it. So that's what happened there. But then they snapped out confusion. Last to good level 20. Awesome. And we defeated Kempo Jeff. Okay. It's awesome.